My name is Peter. People know me as Heavy P. I am a street photographer in New York City. So a buddy of mine called me up in college freshman year and he goes, I have a new nickname for you. It's not Big P anymore. It's Heavy P. You're gonna hate it, but from now on, you're Heavy P. And I absolutely did not like it. Everywhere I went, he introduced me to, as Heavy P before I can say my name. Everything I did was in the sense of heavy. I was a heavy person. I lost a bunch of weight by doing like everything possible to lose it. Everything just obtained this heavy sense. And now I just, it's my whole brand of like, I take heavy photos, heavy photography, portraits, Polaroids. I'm like, my business is heavy productions. Heavy P is just now the, the name I go by. Damn. This lady just grilled me so hard. Just, I was so close to taking her photo and she's just like, she went from like this to just a like complete turn. She's still staring at me. It's funny, I'm not used to being recorded. I'm looking for like, you know, like people with like cool outfits yeah. or like the newspapers, even, even just a hat uh, either, or like even good lighting. Everyone's just on their phones, lost in their own little world. And it's just so boring to look at. Just, it's just all heads down. Oh yeah. Perfect. We'll send you the shots. I feel like she posed for that one. Which one? The one of her, just the the lady right here. Oh, is she looking? She saw it. She saw it. She definitely, she gave me a look. Oh, okay. And then she went right into almost like feeling badass of taking her photo. I'm like, whatever. I love that. Usually I feel like those people yell at me. But whatever. So I am a full-time photographer. I do basically everything from digi-teching to retouching, editing, assisting, shooting. I basically won't say no to any photo work. Anytime I get a job that is outside of the world of photography, I will never hear from it again because I'm most likely either I've quit or I'm fired because I just can't handle the regular job like that. Um, I do a lot of event photography, weddings, lifestyle, basically anything that comes my way, I will not say no. And if I don't know how to do it, I'll just watch a YouTube video, probably live, that I know how to do it and do it. I am originally from New Jersey, moved to Astoria, Queens about five years ago, I believe, and that is where I am currently at still. So originally I hated New York. I thought I absolutely despised New York, but it wasn't me hating New York, it was I hated commuting here. And at the time, it was near Christmas, and my brother's roommate was moving out, and he goes, you have one month to tell me that you're moving in or not. And I just pulled the trigger and just moved to New York and lived with my brother in Astoria. I moved out of, the, out of that place with my brother and now I live with my girlfriend somewhere else in Astoria. I will crop so much and I feel like that's like a, I feel like a rule not to crop so much and I really don't care. I will do anything to make the shot I don't know, look better. I feel like there should be no rules. It's like knowing them and then knowing how, when to break them. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Everyone thought I'd be into sports because of how tall I was and I like forever and always I was never like short at one point and just exploded up. I was just always the tall kid. I'm 6'9". Me and my dad would shoot like random stuff in Jersey like we go to the parks. We never really had like a, like a niche thing to do. Niche? Niche? Out of nowhere we started finding all these car shows and the car shows is kind of what we would like hunt for and then it started becoming more evolved and turned into how we got, how we both got into street photography. Then we started coming to New York and realizing like how much fun it was finding these moments and things or light and compositions here. So I got into street just before COVID. Before COVID I was still, I was shooting street but it was mainly like I was saying earlier I was only black and white, then I was only portraits, then I was like only into film. After being in film for so long, film skyrocketed, and I was very like, I don't want to spend money for potentially one good shot out of 50, and I had a really expensive camera being the, the Sony, and I'm like, I should be abusing this thing and using it in the street, and I was just so obsessed with how things came out that I just kept going with it, and then I got this like rush of like, as dumb as it sounds with like the whole likes and following, but I would revisit film now with how I see things, how my mind works, just because I know I'd be much more slow and conservative of what I shot, making sure that I have more of a cohesive set of work to post. Right. That I always notice or do when I'm shooting is I'll notice like X certain things. So I'll see a pattern of like, so today I've seen a bunch of uh, people holding the, the subway maps. 
So I keep, so I have like three of three of those already of someone like holding behind their hands, like like walking with it, and I'll just start collecting a pile of it, filtering it into Lightroom, and then once I have like ten of those, I'll make it into a set. It's fun. It's like I'll notice like maybe just colors one day, or like I'll go out with the intention of like shooting everyone with like blue shoes, but then all of a sudden I see everyone with cowboy hats or cowboy boots on, and that's like will be my thing that drives me all day. Yeah, like, I, I, I have a folder called series and then I just name them accordingly and I just start dumping things in there but then I'll pull things out and switch them around to how they fit into other scenarios and stuff. I think my style is ever forever progressing and changing. I'll have seasons of like, okay, now I'm shooting moody dark street, now I'm shooting daylight, now I'm trying to find more like vintage stuff, collecting more things that I see. I always think I don't have a style and then people be like, oh man, Heavy P, I love your style. I'm like, I, I don't know what that is. I almost feel like I'm copying like 30 people's style meshing into one into my own. Like I get bored and shooting the same one thing for too long. Love the subway. It's like, you gotta mix up everything from like your businessmen to your grittiness, to the cleanliness, the people wearing dresses, the people there, you know, you just have like everything. You gotta mix up every single culture in here. It's, it's just my favorite. 34th Street, you got like a lot of the wild people in there, which it's, it's also fun. But I feel like here is like, you get the good stuff, the good soup. Still, so many cell phone people. That's great. I love it. Who and what inspires me? That one guy I was showing you earlier, Willie Spiller, of that the hell the hell on wheels. Willie Spiller's book and like just all that subway stuff, like Bruce Davidson, obviously. All, all the greats on Instagram, I think all the greats are like, you know, Billy D, Ill Concept, Monaris, just meshing some of the stuff they see, but not necessarily taking what they do and trying to exactly copy it. Like, seeing what they see and then trying to like morph it into my own creative, like, eyes. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like uh, the subways is like, not, not to say that I feel most comfortable in, but like, I feel like there's like X views and spots I like to shoot in, but then recently like being outside, and I just like finding the light, the, like, the nice spots of light. And I thought I used to like overcast days, but I just like strong, crazy light now. I haven't shot nighttime in months now. Then let's go outside, let's bake in that heat. My process for shooting varies. It depends either if I'm checking the weather and I know that tomorrow is going to be snowing, raining, the Canadian smoke filling up our area, I, I, I will make sure to plan my whole day around that. If someone calls me and like, hey, we have an event for you to work tomorrow, I'm going to say no. I do have times where I go on my phone and I put on like a, a generated spinner, like spin the wheel, and I will put like areas, times, days, lenses, camera, and I'll spin it and it'll be like, today you're shooting with a 35 spin and again, it'll be like, I'll put like Chinatown, Dumbo, Wall Street, wherever it lands on, that's the area I'm going to, I'm staying in. I don't like leaving the apartment with gear. I try to narrow it down to one lens, one camera, so I'll spin on that and that's exactly how I'll go out to shoot most of the time. Of course, no one's on the bus now. man with a mouthful of donut. I need him. Oh, he definitely knows. I hate when they catch me. There's no, I don't know why I love photographing people with food in their mouth. Because it's just such a, such a bad, it's, kind of funny, yeah. it's just like the most unflattering photo you could take. I try my best, obviously, once a week. I, I probably wouldn't say I go more than four or five times a week. There, there are moments where like something in me is battling me to go outside, and those are my best days where like I push myself to go out. And the days where I'm like, ah, oh, I'm not feeling it, but I probably should, those are my worst days, because my body was like, either you're tired or you're mentally not there. I love the abstract stuff you do. I'm like, I gotta find more abstract stuff. How many times to say, let's do it every time I turn the mic on? <laughs> I've said it like, I don't know how many times now. Let's go, let's do it. Oh, too much gain. Oh, he 
took his belly right off. Don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> Was at your door. Beautiful. I love love. So I posted this before and it's literally, it's funny because it's four photos like how you were talking about. The, the shot of this, of the New Yorker, because the colors of the New Yorker also match the colors of the bellhop guy looking out to the city. I meshed these two shots of 34th Street subway station and then the Times Square eyeball billboard ordeal, as well as the, the blurry taxi one. I feel like all the colors together all work very well. I really love this subway man with the briefcase. You almost feel like you can't tell what time or what year I've ever shot that photo. It almost feels like you could see that in a book years ago. And I really love this one. The you are here, like he's like thinking, looking down. The, the lines going on it goes right to his like temple. So it's like right to his brain, like, you know. And I said, yeah, I said that one, the briefcase. Oh, and the, and the diamond, diamond face girl.